All right, Libra, welcome in. Welcome to you. I just saw the messenger card, the guides card as well. Lots of messages coming through for Libra. This is for you, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I will be referencing some astrology. I just saw the, the power card. That is Capricorn. It's also Pluto. Um, I will be referencing some of the astrology that's going to be happening in September. We have an eclipse happening in Pisces. Okay, that's a big deal. And we also have some things happening in the beginning of the month with Uranus going retrograde in Taurus on the 1st and Pluto backing up into Capricorn on the 1st. So that's a big deal. Nep Neptune is in retrograde, Pluto's in retrograde, and Uranus in retrograde. That's all the outer planets. And so they impact us generationally. And Libra, since you are kind of the bridge between the me and the we, it's likely going to be a big, impactful month for you. So let's see where we're going here. Affluence. Oh, all right. I like it. Magic. Courage. New life. Wow. Some of you are opening up to a brand new way of doing your life, a brand new way of being in your life. I feel like some of you have really shed an old um, an old career path or an old, um, you, some of you have really shed an old you. What's coming in is some ideas, some things coming in through, um, dreams or something like that. There's just this really powerful spiritual downloads could be happening for you in, uh, September that um, Taurus energy is in your eighth house. So having um, having Uranus like backing the truck up in your eighth house, eighth house is about spirituality. It's all about that. You could be opening up to some kind of mediumship or some kind of new, new um, tunnel to the universe. I'm almost getting, or like a, poor, a, a wormhole to the universe in which through it, a lot of affluence throat flows, not throws, flows. Okay. A new, a new pathway to your future. Let's see what the reading shows. Nine of cups, queen of swords, four of wands, temperance, and the four of pentacles. There's some kind of, um, hmm. I feel like you were on track for a romantic connection, but there's something stalling it out. Hmm. Because here's Taurus, or sorry, not Taurus. Here's Temperance. And look at you, Nine of Cups, Four of Wands. We're really going someplace here. You see it. Clearly, you know it's happening. That's you, Libra. And Sagittarius is here. This is Archangel Michael. But... I feel like the person that's coming toward you is it's not that they're having second thoughts. It's that they are getting stuck in minutia details for pentacles. They're, they're getting stuck. This is like having the Knight of cups stuck in a tree. Okay. Like they're just, they're like, Oh, wait a second. If I come toward you, like it's how much is it going to cost me for that plane ride? Like they're getting stuck in some kind of minutia around money or around value. Um, so that can be the the um, Uranus energy backing up in Taurus because Taurus is all about value. It's all about how we see ourselves. This person that's coming toward you could also have a little bit of a, um, a freak out around, you know, are they, I'm just going to say this, are they good enough for you? Like seeing you as like some kind of magical creature, are they good enough for you? There could be a little bit of a shame um, shower this person goes through and they stop. It like stops them in their tracks. Okay. World. High priestess, you are on fire. Ace of pentacles. Wow. This is why this person is like, oh my God, am I good enough for her? Am I good enough for the... For Libra, look at you. High Priestess, Ace of Pentacles, new ideas coming through, you know, new life, new beginnings. Get ready. Get ready. I feel like you are 
very courageous in that you have stepped into something. You've stepped into some kind of new life or when it opens up, you're like, yep, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Nine of swords, magician and the queen of wands. The sun, lots of Leo here, the sun, nine of wands and the two of pentacles. Again, there's a hesitation here. Um, I don't feel like this is you hesitating. I don't. I feel like I feel like you might have some kind of inkling, some kind of message coming through to you because you're super intuitive right now. And Taurus um, is in your eighth house. That is a house of intimacy. It is the house of what happens behind the scenes in relationships. So I feel like you're getting a picture of a person coming toward you, like you know they're coming toward you. You're like, okay, I'm welcoming them in. And then they have, they're having a lot of, I don't know. Second thoughts seems very strong to me. Second thoughts or having some kind of um, uh, logistical double think. Okay. I'm thinking about what is, what's this going to mean? What's she going to think when I come toward her? Um, whereas that hasn't occurred to this person up until now. So if you are just about to get into a new relationship, I feel like it will happen, but I feel like it's going to take a little bit more time. Now, some of you are really working on manifest, regardless of whether this person is stuck in a tree or not, you're moving forward. Okay. So Libra, if, uh, if there's any kind of travel going on in September, uh, that's going to really enhance your intuition that uh, we have that full moon Pisces um, eclipse happening on the 17th. That's around 25 degrees. If you have anything in Pisces around 25 degrees, it's going to be activated. And boy, this is going to really expand your intuitive abilities, right? Bringing in new ideas, very, um, very creative. Look at all the, okay, so I'm just noticing this. See the circle here, the world, the moon, the pentacle, like it's like full circle. Something is coming full circle. Something is coming full circle. The nine of swords can be a little bit of fear on your part that like, is it, is it really coming full circle? Is this person coming back around? Um, I feel like you're manifesting a specific person, very passionate, a very passionate connection could be Aries, Leo, Sag. I see cancer here. Here's Leo again. And you're hesitating. You're both hesitating the nine of wands and the two of pentacles. This is a relationship that was together. You were with this person at one point before, and it's going to take courage for you to step back into this. This person is kind of stuck in some kind of detail thing that is um, clouding their progress. So for you, I just see a lot of expansion. I see you going toward affluence and bringing in a lot of joy in your life. This magician, you're really manifesting something from a place of power and passion. So you have this passion. And um, I don't feel like you're letting this stop you. I feel like you've really been excited for this romantic relationship, but I don't feel like you're letting it stop you. I, I just feel like you're, you're going to kind of move forward no matter what. Okay, so what is this Ace of Pentacles coming in? Eight of Wands, lots of ideas, Chariot, lots of conversation about ideas. Oh, wow. Four of Cups and the Page of Cups. So, okay. So this person, um, you just keep going forward. I see you just keep moving forward here. I like this a lot. Uh, I feel like, you know, Saturn's been in Pisces for a while now. And um, I believe it's been about a year. It's going to be there for another year and a half. And so if you have, if you are, um, somebody who has Pisces, like I believe you have it in the fifth house or sixth house, um, we are talking about, yes, fifth house, sixth house depends on where your birth time is, but we are, I am feeling here that there's a lot of, um, determination and Saturn in retrograde is just like spiritually 
stealing your determination, regardless of what somebody else is doing. This person is really driving with the parking brake on, okay? The chariot. So there's a lot of conversation, but there's no forward movement. I feel like they're either offering you as a page of cups instead of the knight of cups. Oh yeah. Wow. Okay. Or they're apologizing for their not doing something. They're not coming to see you. They're not stepping up. They're not joining you. They're not moving forward. They're stuck in a tree. This person's stuck in a tree. And so, okay. So who was, I forget with, where that got this. This is in my, one of my past, um, past lives, <laughs> uh, a long time ago, a friend of mine, um, that I went to high school with, she called me and was all excited, all excited that her boyfriend was going to propose. And I was like, that's great. That's great. You know, he has it yet. She's like, no, no, no. It's been forever. What's going on with him? And I was like, okay. And she's like, I really want you to be in my, in my wedding and everything like that. And I was like, how do you know he's going to propose? And she said, well, his buddy told her that they were out shopping for rings and things like that. So she was all excited about it and everything like that. And then like maybe a week later, she called me and she said, he asked me to live with him. There was no proposal. And so like ordinarily, she might have been very excited about that. But because there was some kind of conversation. So there was this expectation of the Knight of Cups. And instead, she got the Page of Cups. And I don't know what's going on with this person, but I feel like they are driving with the parking brake on. And I feel like on some level, because you're super intuitive, you know this. And this full moon in Pisces, this eclipse energy could activate a new um, experience with this person. So that's like halfway through the month of September. It could activate some kind of forward jolt, right? Where they really move forward. But I want you just to temper your enthusiasm here because I'm concerned about the Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups and this Two of Pentacles. Like there's still, maybe there's somebody else in the, in the uh, mix here. If third parties have been a problem in the past, maybe there's something going on here. I feel like you have this, this image of what's going to be happening and the reality of it might be a little bit different. So I just want you to pace yourself here. So what is this Nine of Swords about? Tower. Page of Swords. You're getting some, um, yeah, Seven of Wands and King of Wands. You're getting some high level, pay attention, you know, sort of energy. You keep going forward. Okay? Okay. You keep moving forward, Libra. Uh, King and Queen of Wands here. I feel like there is, if this person flakes out on you, there is a the, there is a right partner. There is another soulmate here. Okay, there is another soulmate here. I just, you know, I don't know. Let's see about this person. This chariot and four of cups. Three of pentacles. Queen of Cups, Five of Wands, Seven of Cups. This person feels very unsure of themselves to me. And that is definitely not you. Okay, Libra, I feel like you have power. And I feel like you're moving forward with this beautiful energy of the High Priestess. So if this person kind of flakes out on you, you got a King of Wands coming in. So I wouldn't worry too much about this. I, cause I'm seeing a lot of fire energy here and we have courage. That's another Leo card. So this makes sense to me that if you have somebody who's a water sign, okay. A water sign or, um, yeah, cancer, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, this person is kind of flaking out on you. So if this, this could be a business partnership too doesn't have to be a romantic. This could be somebody who was all gung ho about an idea with you. And then they're like flaking out. Um, your pattern may have been to wait for this person. Don't wait. Don't wait. Nine of wands and the two of pentacles. Six of wands, justice. There's your card, the empress and the lover's card. You are in the driver's seat here. 
Libra. You are definitely in the driver's seat. There's really good things coming your way. Ace of Pentacles, the High Priestess, don't forget about him, the King of Wands. Really good stuff headed your way. So I don't know why this person is flaking out or why they're in your life at all. Like, let's see what that's about. What's the purpose of this person? This Knight of Cups to the Page of Cups. What's the purpose of this person? Two of Wands. King of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. Strength. Hmm. Um, this person's reason for being in your life has to do with you releasing yourself from holding back. Okay. Like when you're, you're like, you're waiting for other people to kind of get their shit together. And if this has been a problem with you that you've always kind of demurred to somebody else's needs or something like that, no more, not no more. Okay. Um, and I feel like you just keep moving forward. If this person is for you, if this if this Page of Cups, Knight of Cups person is for you, maybe they go to the King of Cups. I see King and Queen of Cups. I think there's some nice feelings here. I think they're awesome. But especially if this person is a business uh, connection, I would just keep moving because I see King and Queen of Wands here with the Ace of Pentacles. That feels much more entrepreneurial. This person may be a love partner. They may not be, uh, it may not be happening right now. But I want you to manifest this new life for yourself regardless. I want you to step into it. Okay. All right. If this is your reading, let's see where we're going. I'm going to dive deeper. I'm going to look at what you don't see coming. Let's see what the next 30 days hold and let's see how this all plays out. All right. Libra, that's for you. Link is below. I'll see you over there. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video. If it was helpful to you, please consider liking this video and sharing it with anybody who might have a need for similar kind of information. And if you like this video, check out these videos.